Good morning, everyone. The boys are reading. Who are you? We're waiting for Daddy to get home because we're going to be going to get some lunch and go to the mall and the stores. And so I'm going to take you guys with me today. Um, I just have to pick up whatever I need to get for the start of school, which is on Monday. I feel like that, um, I, it's weird to say the start of school because it's not like we really stopped. But we're moving over into our um, next year of study so third grade first grade in preschool i did pick up a few books from the library um for them to read as a part of their reading list um i i told you in one of the i think i mentioned in one of my curriculum videos that their goal is just to do two books a day so i collect a stack of reading books um a lot of easier reads I try to collect um, because I feel like that gives them confidence you know if I give them a bunch of uh, books that are super challenging for them to read then I feel like they don't they aren't very excited about reading but when they just breathe through books they tend to get you know feel accomplished like I read three books today or I read four books today so I like to get them books that they can read on their own that are maybe like a level down than what they are capable of or so so that they can just feel pretty accomplished so I got um, fish is a fish they like this this was really cute and I got the best chef in second grade they just finished reading this one Alexander and the Wind Up Mouse. Julius, they like that. They thought it was cute. Mouse Soup, they really like Arnold Lobel. I think that's his name. And he did the uh, Frog and Toad books. So I assumed that they would just go ahead and like these too. Then I also got Owl at Home. The last one I got was Mr. Putter and Tabby Pour the Tea. So thought they'd like that too so maybe they'll finish up these two or these three um, this afternoon we went out on the picnic blanket earlier and I had little special mini meetings with each of them just to talk to them about how we're moving on to the next grade so I just told them um, little special things about them and things that they've accomplished this year and how excited I am that they're moving on to the next grade um, I really need to get on it though because this would technically be preschool wait this would be like a kindergarten graduation for Kendall. Um, so I wanted to have a celebration and I, I wanted it to be something completely different that went along with our camping thing that we started out with um, this last year. But I didn't get everything, all my ducks in a row. I'm still going to do that, but I'm probably gonna do it for the end of this year. So I figured I might as well use our cap and gowns from our kindergarten preschool graduation for the boys and go ahead and do a similar thing for Savannah and Kendall and Cameron too but he won't have a cap and gown so um, I'm just gonna reuse the cap and gown that I had from their graduation I actually did load that video on this channel it was like one of my first videos um, that I had put on this channel uh, they really enjoy the graduation celebration and I didn't do it um, last year like I wanted to and they really missed it and they mentioned it quite often so I figured I might as well do it again this year I already had the cap and gown and everything and I'll just go ahead and order um, pizza and have some other snacks and invite um, some family and friends they were so cute they were like yes my mom has to be there so yeah I'll show you what I have um, one of them needs to be I need to try and see if I can dry clean it because I got a really big stain on the smaller one but see okay, so I have caps and gowns and I'm just gonna go ahead and get like a new tassel because this one says 2015 um, see if you can see it see this one says 2015 so all I really need to do is just get a new tassel um, for this year and then they'll have that I asked Cameron what he wanted to wear and he said he wanted to wear a uh, suit I mean a shirt and a tie like daddy when he goes to work so we'll just get him a tie and then have a little get together and that'll be their graduation celebration I am just going to wait for Brian to get here and then we're going to go get something to eat and then head to the store so I can pick up supplies. They're really just basic supplies. I need some art supplies, some pencils, some paper because we've completely, like we're completely fresh out of paper. And what else do I want to get? I want to get my bullet journal for planning or whatever I'm going to decide to get to um, reward myself. <laughs> 
still have lots of stuff on my desk over here. We're actually starting um, school off with the uh, uh, space unit. So, I have lots of space stuff. So, I got um, Papa, please get the moon for me. I got Good Night Galaxy. I got How to Catch a Star, which I love. You guys know I love Oliver Jeffers. So I got How to Catch a Star. Um, Space Boy. Another Day in the Milky Way. A is for Astronaut. Zoo in the Sky. The kids are having a ball in the background. <laughs> And um, the kid's first big book of space. And then I have if you decided to go to the moon. So yeah, I got my basket here. And now I'm just going to take my books and add them to my basket for them to pull from. So I got Neil Armstrong here. We are obviously using this here, the activity book. Their action Bible actually goes in their room for study. Put this in there too. So I'm just gonna pack these into here really quickly. Now that it's all completely stuffed with goodies, then I'll go ahead and take it in. Yes, honey? Yes, I'm coming. Excuse me. Ooh. And that will just live right there. So we're finally out and the kids are having um, a little show back here. Oh, you need to know it's the sand and you just fade away. And don't you know, I'm still standing by the end. And I can't survive. I can snap time. I got you. Bunch of balloons. Okay, so we stopped by Michael's first. I'm trying to get them to all walk in a line. Um, I think we need glue. Guys, do we need more wiggly eyes? Googly eyes, yeah. Googly, <laughs> googly eyes. And we need glue sticks. We need what? Glue sticks, paper, and Okay, we're gonna get pencil. paper. The artist loft stuff here, we really like. Since we run through art supplies, like nobody's business, the artist loft section is a big thumbs up. So, most of the time, they're always like $5. Here, so that they can both have like their separate palettes. I need these, I need brushes, um, I need to get sketchbooks, and what else, guy? Do you want to try oil paints, Cameron? We can try this acrylic. Cameron, look, they have acrylic. Okay, so now I'm picking up some art books. This can be a tricky one because art books are quite expensive, but it's 50% yeah, off today. So I think I'm gonna get them. Um, last time we got mixed media books, but that's because they were on like a crazy exciting sale. I think I'm gonna do the drawing books this time. Um, the pages are slightly thinner, which is not the most fun ever because they're using markers and um, paint and stuff like that, but I'm trying not to be extra about it. They're just you know, try not to be extra. You feel that? That's super thick. Yeah, so I'm trying to wrap this up I, so I can move on to the next um, store. Do not want to leave <laughs> Okay, so I found, I found the paper. I'm just gonna get this, the cheapest paper is 347. I need two packs of that for now. Um, yeah, and then I, my favorite place, guys, composition notebooks. <laughs> So we've got 88 cents composition notebooks and I'm just gonna get one for every subject. I also decided to pick these up just for math because why not? I think they'll come in handy. They were like 90 cents, so I'm gonna get those too. Now I just need to find a whole batch of pencils 
and I was gonna get tape because Cameron loves when I get tape, but I just don't want that kind of stress in my life right now, so I think I'm gonna pass the tape by me. Last stop, my favorite place. <laughs> His favorite place. <laughs> okay, let's see if they have anything new and different in here. Um, Yes. I found a ukulele. Is this an actual? It looks like a ukulele, buddy. Well, it's a toy. Yeah. Well, you can make a little bit of um, music with it. Oh, guys. <laughs> yes. I've got another one. I'm definitely adding this to the mix. I'm so excited. But if I could only have found the um, Outer Space book and not had to pay $9 for it off of Amazon. See? I miss when you guys is $1.99. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> Savannah, what'd you find? See, like, they have the cutest things. Like, I'm not gonna buy this because I'm trying to be very conscious and careful about the things that I bring into my home. I'm on this whole, like, minimize in homeschool kick. So I'm trying that out. Um, books inside of the bookstore are so expensive, but here you could get like whole collections of books. Oh, look, and whenever I see these books with these, um, the Newberry seal, yeah, try to get those. I'm gonna go ahead and get that, and it's only two dollars. This is the coloring and activity section. Oh, count to ten with the mouse. We have this book, so I may go ahead and get this sticker activity for Savannah. At 129, like why not? Wait a minute. <laughs> yes. Uh, this right here, guys, is a total score. Look, I've got build the human body right here, and then they also have build a robot, which I don't have. Yes, you do play a violin like that, hun. <laughs> So Savannah's trying to convince me that she can get that Barbie book. Um, so she's trying to sit and read it to make sure that she can actually get it. So, not gonna happen. I always have a hard time in Ollie's. So that's why I spend my time just looking, picking it up, and putting it back a lot of times. <laughs> it's for you guys that um, don't mind keeping items. Like, this is the best way to build up your um, curriculum and fun stuff. It is the best way. I am gonna get this though. This live imagine and draw. Okay, I, I really like these. I think they have a lot of good activities in here. I like these books a lot. But I could only find the fifth grade, but I just found the fourth grade and that may work for me. These are really helpful to me because they give me like a good guide on how to teach things when I'm stuck or some examples and this is only $4. Wait guys. I think I may have found it. If I reach back here, let's see if it says three. Does it say three? Because it looks like it's, yes, third grade. <laughs> yes. All right, okay guys, we got it. I may actually get both of them, but how good is this? It's nice practice for like, when you just need them to do a little bit of extra activity. Okay guys, I, I think I'm finally done, but I had like a field day today in here because they had so many things I wanted. I really, I don't think I'm sticking to my goal of being, um, you know, as minimal as possible in homeschool because look what I found. So I did get these from the library, but when I find these for such a good price, like how can you leave them? So I got Flora and Ulysses and it's only $2. Um, I had the Tiger Rising, $2. And then I got the Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane, $2. And then, look you guys, Bob Books. I normally get these Bob Books from the library, but this stack of kindergarten, first grade Bob Books is, let's see, $4. Like, how can I put that back? And then I'm struggling here because look what else I found. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Look what else I found. I totally want to buy this so that I can give it away to someone. <laughs> like, it's only 
three dollars like okay so i think i'm ready to go because they're over there ready to go let me show you yeah all the way over there they are i think that my family is definitely ready to go i should have come without them <laughs> but last thing i see here so I think I had a field day this time around. I hope you guys enjoyed coming with me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take this home and show you what I got. I may end up doing that, but if I don't, then I'm just going to leave you right here. Come on, let's go. Then I'm just going to leave it right here. Look, they're all ready to go, so <laughs> let's go. Hi guys, I'm back I'm home, and I am currently making dinner. And uh, I thought I would show you guys what I ended up getting. So, well, first I just got, Ryan actually got this while he was patiently waiting for me. Um, we got the Max Lucado's Glory Days. So we are going to read this together. We're trying to get, do a better job reading together um, instead of always sitting down after the kids are in bed and watching television or doing work. So we're starting a little marriage book club. So we're gonna be reading Glory Days first. Um, I did end up getting the Factivity book for the body. It's perfect and I will go ahead and add this to my unit study. I got this Live, Imagine, and Draw. I really like these because they can just open these up and use the prompts and just fill out the activities. Um, I have another one. I don't know if I showed you if I put it in a haul book, but they're really cute. And like this page just says, add some hats to these animals. So they're super cute. Draw a zigzag chasing a curve. Draw a circle eating a square. So they're really cute and this was only a dollar. I tried to find some stuff for Savannah and I didn't find as much as I'd like to have found, but um, we do have the count to 10 with a mouse book and I found this count to 10 with a mouse sticker activity booklet. So I really liked these. I raved about them while I was looking at them inside the store. I wish I really, I wish I had been able to find a grade one and a grade two, but I couldn't find one. So it looked like they had grade three, four, five, and six. So I went ahead and got grade three. And then I got the fourth grade book. So I also picked this up, this ready to test book. Um, I do have a video on how we do assessments and it's very natural and organic, but um, I do, I would like to include a, some testing from time to time. Not heavy, just something, because I think it's a good skill to be able to know how to take tests if they ever needed to for some reason. So I got the Build the Robot, which I did not have. And then I got the uh, Build the Human Body. So I'm excited about that. Now I have like six of them. I know I said I was doing the whole library thing, and I am, but I just couldn't pass this up. I mean, in my mind, I'd like to have this huge library full of books, but I'm not spending a lot of money for them. So when I see them for a steal of a price, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase them. And um, sometimes hot alleys can be hit or miss and you have to get it at the right time. But I found uh, four that I'm really excited about because like three of them were on our read aloud list for this year. Anyway, this one was not, but I thought it looked good and anything with a new berry seal, like I said, I always try to get. So this one is 21 balloons. And then the rest are from um, Kate D. Camillo. I'm pretty sure I said that right. <laughs> um, I got Flora and Ulysses. And then I got um, The Tiger Rising. The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane. So normally we have used the Bob books in the past um, and checked them out from the library. Our library stocks them, but I saw this and it was $4. So this is just the kindergarten and first grade site works collection. And I thought that Savannah would do well with these. I was never a super fan of Bob books just because the illustrations <laughs> are a little strange. They look a little weird, but um, I figured I would pick it up and I thought that Savannah would do pretty well with them. So yeah, that was a steal. I went and got basic supplies from Walmart. Uh, we needed more paper because you know, we, we go through paper like, mm, yeah, I won't say that too loud just in case the trees can hear, you know? <laughs> so I just got a couple sets of bright white paper. I got some more googly eyes, some pencils, I couldn't leave without these. <laughs> so I got a whole new stack of composition books and I just got 
a ton of different colors because they like the different color. For their math composition book, we're gonna try these out. The graph versions. All right, the next set of stuff I got was just a few things and from Michaels. Two more art books for the kids. I'm just gonna use, Kendall didn't really fill up his art book very much last year. So I'm just going to take out what he did do and leave the rest of the pages and let that be Savannah's for this year because these books can get pricey. But um, I always go when they are on sale, like 50% off and then I have an extra 20% off coupon. So it works out. I really like the Artist Loft uh, collection of supplies at Michael's. Um, they're basic, they're normally inexpensive and they're easy. So I got two more watercolor palettes. They also have these really cute like metallic uh, watercolor sets. I should have gotten those two, but I wanted to keep it simple for now. Two sets of brushes. I really like to get more, but this this will do for now. Um, I wanted to be able to pack them up into their book bag so that we could go out. Um, I want to start doing a let's go out type of series. Um, an artist that I follow on YouTube does a let's go out type of series on her channel, and she goes out and she draws and paints um, out in nature or out and about at museums and things like that and I love watching those so I want to do kind of a similar thing with here in homeschool on the channel um, I thought that would be really cool to kind of you know kind of together we could go out and paint and draw and read um, while we're out because a lot of times we get stuck inside and you know, maybe we can just kind of encourage one another to get out as much as possible and not like out going to co-op or out going to the grocery store with the kids, that type of thing. But like just out and doing our work outside and outdoors and that type of thing. Anyway, that was random. So the last thing that I got was just a little canvas sketchbook. And this is actually for me. This is going to be my planner this year. So I'm doing like a bullet journal type of planner. I debated on whether or not to get a smaller one or this bigger one. And I happen to really like this bigger one. So I got the bigger one. But basically it's just a bunch of blank pages in here. And I thought it would be fun to sketch and paint and you know, do all that crafty stuff that I like to do. I don't know, just kind of keeping my planning record of what we're doing in school just because um, everything is digital this year, but I still like to have something that I can um, color and paint and sparkle up and stuff like that. So I like to keep a collection of these so that I can kind of journal. Yeah, it's kind of like a journal, like a uh, homeschool bullet journal type of deal. Um, you ever see people do like travel journals where they'll go in and kind of scrapbook kind of, but like more like a journal and a free hand drawing type of, you know what I'm trying to say. So this is going to be like my homeschool planner slash journal type of deal. So I wanted to keep it pretty basic because it's going to be nice and fun and colorful inside. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. I don't have any major plans for it. I'm just going to use a lot of my supplies from Bible journaling and just try to have as much fun as possible. So I'm really happy about this. And then I can also add like lots of planner stickers if I wanted to, or um, I imagine doing like little Polaroid pictures inside of it. So I wanna have a lot of fun with this. It's kind of like a yearbook, but for me, <laughs> not for them. So their yearbook will just be full of pictures and words and stuff that I put together for them. But this is kind of like my yearbook for me because I feel like homeschooling, being a homeschool mom, taking on that task and that journey, or not task, I shouldn't say task. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, it's special. And so I wanted to have something like to remember it by. So that was what I thought when I thought of doing this. And I'm hoping that I will actually make time to do it. Um, <laughs> I know I'm taking on a lot, but oh well. <laughs> Anyway, that's it, you guys. I just wanted to show you what I got. Um, thanks for coming along with me. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, give this a thumbs up if you like videos like these. And make sure that you are subscribed if you want to see more from us. And I will see you in our next video. So I will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Oh, um, I have lots of Moms Make the Best Teachers t-shirts to send out that I'm a little bit behind on because I had to get all my other stuff um, handled first. So yeah, I've got black, I've got summer peach, and I've got white. So about these white ones, you guys, I accidentally ordered the wrong um, style of shirt for this 
group of white moms make the best teacher shirts um, I really like the shirt it's great for the summertime it's thinner um, and it has kind of not a scoop but a wide neckline on it and it's wider and round on the bottom which is nice and flowy and free feeling so I actually do like the shirt a lot um, it's just a little bit thinner which is great for the summer so if you want one of those um, let me know I'll give you the information and the pricing and you would just email me to order those hi honey you would just email me to order those because they're not going to be listed on the website um, because the ones on the website are actually in the regular style so if you want one of these if you want to order one of these you can just send us an email at faith and love academy at gmail.com and let me know and I can send you over an invoice yeah they're really cute uh, maybe I should show you one so let me show it to you it has a wider neck and it has a rounder bottom or loose bottom and it's a nice soft material but it's a little bit looser so it's great for the summer i think i have about 12 of them that i ordered in this style so if you want to order one of these just send me an email at faith and love academy at gmail.com and i can send you over an invoice and get those out to you so yeah anyway what else did I want to tell you? This was random too, but guys, I finally washed my library bag. <laughs> it was so dirty. Come here, Savannah. It was so dirty. Anyway, so it's nice and fresh and washed. I feel like I'm legit about to start the new year, you know? How are you? Good. How are you today? I'm good. Are you ready to eat? Yeah. You want to help me say goodbye? Uh, shall we? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye guys.